Hello, it is me and my tea. And as we can see, my Owl Crate May box has just arrived. So this is a theme against all odds. And as you can see behind me, I did my own version of an Owl Crate readathon, like I said in the last video. So I read all the books that are associated with the items inside of this box. And some of them I did a refresher on because I already had them, and I am excited because now I should really know the fandoms that are in this box. So, without any more further ado, let's get into it with our trusty pocket knife, shall we? Do -do -do. And if you're unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really cool monthly YA subscription box, and every month you get a brand new book signed by the author and a bunch of other bookish themed items, and sometimes they are fandom neutral, and sometimes they are based on other books, like the ones behind me, and I'm just super excited. So let's get into it. Do -do -do. <gasps> Ooh, there we are. And right on top, as River Song would say, we have our spoilers, our lovely spoiler card. And I'll set that aside for now. Alrighty. Ooh, first thing I see are the Fabulous paper wormies, doo -doo -doo, which I'm sure Rory or the Queen Pippi will absolutely love. Okay, so first on top, we have our treasured tomes pin. And kind of peeking in the box, I still do not see a pin banner for our pins. Um, some people have told me down in the comments that um, they said on a live stream that they might be doing something later this year, so I hope maybe at least by next month we shall have something to put our pins on because, oh my gosh, they are just so beautiful and I'm tired of them just sitting on their little piece of cardboard. So as you can see, this pin is inspired by We Hunt the Flame. It is really quite stunning. I mean, just look at that. The front of it is absolutely gorgeous and it goes really, really well with the... Um, Owl Crate edition that is right here. And this is the only Owl Crate book that I've ever had issues with because the dust jacket is like just a tiny bit too small to fit the cover of the book. And it's just that tiny little bit of irritation. But apart from that, it is a really good book. Um, it is a duology. So We Hunt the Flame is the first one. And for life of me, I can't think of what the second one's called. Um, if you know what the second book is called, leave a comment down below, and that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, up next, woo, we have our item that is inspired by Middle Earth and the Lord of the Rings, and I did not put the books up because it just said Lord of the Rings, and I wasn't sure which book it would be, and I didn't want to tote all of them out. So it says, together with artists. Um, bring a bit of magic of Middle Earth to your table. Each bowl is limited edition collection. Okay. It pays homage to the Kingdom of Rohan. I thought we already did Rohan. Are we doing a whole nother series? And they're different? I could have sworn we had Rohan. One moment. I'm going to look at my bowls over there. Okay, so I stand corrected. I went and I grabbed my bowls, and it looks like um, Rohan wasn't included in the set of four from last year. So here it is, and it is so beautiful. I mean, just, it's it's stunning. I, I love it. I am at a loss for words. It is so beautiful. And there we have the crest on the inside. So... Just a recap, the ones, the four set from last year was The Shire, then we had Rivendale, Riverdale, Rivendale, we had, um, what is that, Erebor for the dwarves, and then we had Gondor, so, um, Rohan was missing, so now, I think, unless they continue on and do, like, Mordor, or um, the Forest of the Ints. That would be really, really cool. So I guess the Lord of the Rings bowl sets are continuing on. All right, and as I should say, this video needs to continue on too. <laughs> All right, next we have, ooh, a transparent bookmark. And there has a little Owl Crate logo on it. 
Now let's see what we have here. I think I remember they did some, or I've had a transparent bookmark that was, oh, okay, this is completely different than what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, we have several. So I recognize what this one is from. These are really, really cool. So we have three here and yeah, let's see, I'll put, I'll put this behind so we can kind of see them better. No, nope, that makes it worse. Okay. One moment tease. I need to find a piece of blank paper. All right. So I found a piece of paper to put them behind. So these are inspired by Magic Steeped in Poison, which is a fantastic book, especially if you are a tea drinker like me. So these are inspired by the characters and they just look absolutely stunning. And they're really, really kind of cool because when the light goes through, you can see, you can see the design through it. That is so cool. And they're really nice and thin, so I cannot wait to use them because I don't like it when bookmarks are like really, really thick and it makes the book kind of peek open. All right, next, ooh, we have a little piece of paper here and it looks like this is a bonus, um, like some bonus content to read for an upcoming book. That's kind of interesting. Next, ooh, it says, choose your words carefully, even when the words you think even the words you think because they become seeds and seeds become history. And that is from Dance of Thieves, which I finished a couple days ago. And that is a fantastic book. I didn't realize that it was a sequel to the Remnant Chronicles or like the Kiss of Deception. And it was cool because I had just re finished rereading that series and I was like, ah, I didn't realize that. So let's see what we have. Ooh. Cool. We have a wax seal. Nice. So we have red wax and ooh, it looks like a book with roses kind of going around it. That's really, really nice. And yeah, seal your secrets and stories with the bookish elegance with this wax seal kit inspired by Dance of Thieves. So cool. And let's see, is there something on the wax? Ooh, yes, we have a really cool design right there on the wax too. That is really neat. I can't wait to use that. I love wax seals and stuff like that. I've loved things like that since I was little. So yay. Okay, next, ooh, we have a tin. Now is this a pencil tin or is this a bookmark tin? I bet it could work either way. And this is from um, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea, which is right there. Yay! Okay, let's see if I can open it. And it says, stories are both an escape from the truths of the world and the only way to see them clearly. That is really cool. So I think this is great for pencils or bookmarks. Let's see if there's another... Um, Nope, it's just plain on the inside right there. Doo -doo -doo. So that is really nice and really handy. Okay, next. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if there's anything underneath our book. Hmm. Oh, okay, correction. The bookmarks aren't just magic steeped in poison, but they are also, um, so this one is inspired, <laughs> I thought there was a few fandoms to less. So this one is inspired by Six Crimson Cranes. And then this one here is inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So that is why I thought there was going to be more. I didn't realize it was going to be a combo. So correction, they weren't all from Magic Steeped in Poison. It was from Six Crimson Cranes and Daughter of the Moon Goddess also. All right. So it's time to get into the book. So I have to free it from its plastic prison. So again, one moment, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this book has me absolutely speechless. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're as amazed with this book as I am once I show it to you. 
For we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, who also wrote um, another Owl Crate book, um, Dreams Lie Beneath, which I absolutely loved. So the cover is completely redesigned. It is really quite beautiful. I love the white, purple, and black vibe. The spine is gorgeous. And then we look at the other edges of the book. Because this is the very first stenciled edged Owl Crate book. And or color stencil the edge it is so beautiful it has what looks like a harp and then there's these beautiful flowers that go with the flowers on the book and we have a typewriter and it's just gorgeous and it has a sewn in ribbon bookmark which is I, I'm I'm loving this because now I don't have to use a receipt to keep track of where I am in my book beautiful end pages with harp and it looks like a cup of tea or maybe a cup of coffee and then of course let's see yes we have a reversible dust jacket um i don't know how much i feel about the reversible dust jacket though because the expression on it looks like our main character's face right there is a little bit weird and wonky but i like this guy right here he looks very very interesting so a cool reversible dust jacket we have um, silver gilding right here on the back, and then on the front it says, even in the silence, I hope you find the words you need to share. That is absolutely gorgeous. And let's see, of course it is signed by our author. I just have to find the page. There it is. And then our letter from the author is just right there, bound in the book also. And it looks like it looks like we also have a bonus chapter in here too, so that is really, really cool. So let us see what this book has to say for itself. It says, when two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection, they must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fates forever. After centuries of sleep, the gods are warring again, but Iris Winnow just wants to hold her family together. Her mother is suffering from addiction and her brother is missing on the front lines. Her best bet is to win the columnist promotion at the Oath Gazette. To combat her worries, Iris writes letters to her brother and slips them beneath her wardrobe door, where they vanish into the hands of Roman Kit, her cold and handsome rival at the paper. When he anonymously writes her back, the two of them forge a connection that will follow her all the way from the front lines of battle for her brother, for front lines of battle for her brother, the fate of mankind and love it is an epic enemies to lover fantasy novel filled with hopes and heartbreak and the unparalleled power of love. Okay, that sounds really, really cool. It kind of gives me um, shop around the corner. You've got mail vibes where it's um, enemies and answering each other's letters. I really love that idea. It sounds really, really cool. And I just love, I just love this edition of this book. It looks so gorgeous and I cannot wait to start reading it and just have it be sitting on my bookshelf because, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. This is the first time I've had a book with the stenciling on it and ah, j'adore. I love it so much. All right, let's look at our last two items, which is the newsletter, and then afterwards I will give you the spoilers for what will be in next month's box. But here we have the letter or uh, interview with the author. We have the Owl Crate edition of the book and the original. I like the um, the black and gold and blue, but I really love what they did with the white and black and purple. That is really really pretty, and all the other things that they changed with it too. Um, news from The Nest, we have interview with a vendor, our Instagram photo challenge, Spotify playlist, I really, really love those, other books that are being released this month, and then Owl, ba Owl, Owl Babble, which is a chat with the author, so that is really cool, and then it is time for next month's theme, which is da 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 if the fates allow. Okay, so that is really cool. It looks like it's going to be um, a lot of Greek mythology. And it says every June box will include an exclusive item designed by Viscovia. 
art. I think that's how that is said. And then spoilers, items in this box are going to be inspired by the Song of Achilles, Percy Jackson and the Olympian, the Scorpio races. Um, there's going to be some fandom neutral items that are inspired by Norse mythology. And then the um, pin is going to be inspired by the Raven Boys. So that is really cool and I'm very excited for that. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Let me know what your favorite item is. Um, you know, maybe let me know which of the Lord of the Rings wolves is your favorite so far. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again. If you're interested in what tea I am drinking, it is the summer afternoon tea from Harney and Sons. And if you want to use a coupon down below for $5 off a Harney and Sons order, feel free to use that. So. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later.